Let us have a quick understanding on the default UI we are going to get from Zeppelin. This is how the home page going to look like when I access the UI from the port what it is configured. In my system I have configured the UI in port 9090. By default it works in the port 8080. You will have option to work with the notebook where you can create a notebook or you can search for any of the notebook that you already have created. You can import notebook from other sources as well. If you are getting any notebook from your friends or if they have shared through any shared location, you can import. And you can create a new notebook by providing a name. Let's create a new name. And what should be the default interpreter within it? I'm going to leave the default value the first one automatically it would get selected I'd say create so that would provide me a note where I can provide any option that I want whatever the code that I'm going to execute over here it will give me the result let me make the font little bigger shift enter would execute or I can execute by providing this arrow mark symbol that's going to list all the files available in the home location or I can give the path from the root location what I have. PWD will give me the present working directory. So what that means, what this percentage SH means, what interpreter should interpret the command that I'm going to provide over here. That can be verified from this settings link, the gear icon, if I click, it's going to open the settings. So what are all the interpreter enabled for this particular note? If you observe very carefully, there is an interpreter called SH. So all the shell commands can be executed from here. The system where this particular Zeppelin server is running, in that particular server, this particular shell command would get executed. And if I want to disable any of the interpreter, I can click that interpreter and I can disable it. By clicking the interpreter, I can disable if that is disabled, then it would not recognize what percentage SH means. That means either no interpreter named SH or it is not binded to this specific node. That means we have not bound the interpreter SH. So if I bound it and if I say save, I should be in a position to execute the same command. So percentage SH means execute the command through the interpreter called SH. In case if I wanted to execute any command specific to the spark, then I would be giving percentage spark or percentage spark dot sql. So whatever the extension that I want, I can provide. And I can give the permission for this particular note. Since I have not authenticated, I am not going to get into it. I can save this particular note. And uh, next time when I am getting into the Zeppelin page, I should be in a position to open the same note. Or I can clear all the output all the output, default output, whatever that is available within the note would get cleared. So there will not be any output available. In case if I want to delete the note, I can delete the note as well. I can do the notes management. At the same time, I have an option to see what are all the jobs that got executed. I can search through the jobs for what interpreter. And I have an option to see what are all the interpreters available as a part of this Zeppelin installation configuring the credentials or any other configuration if I wanted to do, I can do over here. Basically, how this particular Zeppelin is running and what are all the configurations that is done within the default configuration of Zeppelin, I can find over here. Simple example, the Zeppelin server is running in the port 9090. That is coming from the configuration folder of Zeppelin. And within the interpreter, I can see what are all the interpreters available. These are all the list of interpreters available. If I search for the SH, so these are all the settings specific to this particular interpreter. In the interpreter section, we will discuss more in detail about how to configure a custom interpreter, what are all the configurations that we can do within the interpreter. This is the high level overview of the Zeppelin UI and this entire course, we will be working on this specific UI.